Yes, I got him. Yes. Oh, yeah. Look at Dude. that belly, baby, PB. What is going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. I am proud to say I am on the ice today, chasing giant muskies. This is the last season for muskies in Quebec in Zone Eight. It's been a long time coming because the ice is usually good by December 20th when our multiple line season opens and our dead bait season. But we haven't had ice until the last week. So I'm out here today. Darian is on his way out joining me. I got 10 lines in right now. I'm about to put another 10 in when Darian gets here. We're going to run 20 tip ups, giant, giant suckers. I got some hanging from the ceiling right now. Mark Trombley here in Quebec. He has the best of the best, the King Kongs of suckers. And we're going to get all our flags out and we're hopefully going to get a big toothy muskie. Trying to get a 50 incher. I know it's the first one of the year, but it'd be nice to see an absolute giant fatty come topside. So I'm gonna go meet Darren at the car. Gonna get the rest of the lines in. I hope to see you guys soon with a fish. Let's get it. We got a flag. Not that much line out, so it's definitely not a fish that we saw. Still taking line though. Big sucker, so we're gonna give it a, a second for sure. He's just staying right under the hole. Okay. Got him. Doesn't feel that big. Oh, now he feels bigger. Big head shakes. It's not that big though. It's a nice one. Like a low 40 maybe. That was a good run. Oh, man, he's fighting so good. That's not a bad one. Oh, we got him. That's a nice fish. Okay, back in the water. Eyes submerged. <coughs> All right. So the first one of the year, we're gonna get a quick bump. 44, three quarter. One last show here. And we're gonna get her down the hole for a quick release. Super important while I was unhooking her keep her all submerged in the water and she has a nice quick release see you later girl we got a line to reset but my hands are frozen I think we're gonna go to the tent and we're gonna warm up and then reset this disc first one of the year let's go that's sick bloody hands can only mean one thing beauty fish 44 and 3 quarter crazy fighter I honestly thought it was a lot bigger fish I just made a switch to we hadn't seen anything all day made a switch Took a bulldog off, put this big tantrum on. Within five minutes, we had a huge fish come in on live scope. We checked the flags after the fish left. No flag was up. Darian got up, checked the flags. Flag was up. We thought maybe it could be the same fish, but it definitely was not because the fish we saw on the screen was much, much bigger and quite a bit girthier than that. So Darian's up now. We still got a bunch of time. It's three o'clock. We'll probably give it another hour and a half. And we know that big fish is still swimming around in the area. So until then, we will keep digging. And we'll hopefully see another flag plop, plop, plop down, plop up. See another flag pop before long. Stick with us. Another big one coming topside. You can feel it. Tomorrow too. All day. Muskies. Every day. of day two we only had the one fish yesterday plus that one we saw on live scope but we are out here bright and early i'm with my buddy dan steve's behind the camera we got the big suckers from mark trombley again we're putting these on big rigs number seven treble hooks 
one in the front right behind the head and one in the back right by the tail making sure our baits are defrosted metal leader going to 130 pound fluoro leader and then about three feet of line out just dropping that baby below the ice we're only fishing in about nine feet of water and then we're aiming our flags at our tents like i said yesterday zone eight in quebec only place you can fish muskie in the world on the ice and we are allowed 10 lines per person we're going to put out about 22 today we're three guys we could have 30 but uh it's a lot of setup so we're going to get our lines in and we will see you guys in the tent That's good, an early flag. All right, we got a flag. First one of the day. Oh, there's two flags, there's one there. No way. No, I'm just kidding. Wow, you... Yeah, I got him. <laughs> 10 o'clock, we've been checking like crazy. Oh, it's spinning. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's on. Taking line. He hit a little chunk of ice where the spool was froze, but he's still there. We got big, big suckers, so we want to make sure he's he's got it. And like we've been checking pretty often so it, it just went up so that's a good sign he just stopped he's probably positioning it usually they hit it sideways they'll move with it on their initial stop then they'll t spin the bait so they have it head first and just choke it down i think he dropped it i think i'm just pulling in the minnow no he's still there he's still there he's swimming at me that was fast. Still there, I just need him to start going away with it because he's definitely facing us right now. The fact that I'm bringing in line. Took all that line, now he's coming straight back at the hole. Dude, I'm gonna be able to see him. Here we go. Small one. It's a big minnow for a small fish. We got him though. Got him. Uh, paints. So you just yeah. Right in the back. Awesome, awesome fish. And we're gonna get her back. It's like minus 12 or so. It's not too cold, but still want to be fast with them. She's gonna release so well. Super important to just make sure that fish goes on its own. Bye bye, my hands are frozen. We're gonna take that big chunk of meat, we're gonna zip up all this line and we're gonna put it back down and we're gonna get another one because it's so early. We got one. Almost two o'clock. It's been a long wait since this morning. Well, it hasn't spun. We're gonna give Steve a shot. He can lift it. We'll check what the line's doing. Oh, it's uh, oh, it's to oh, the, it's spool. To the it's spool. To the spool. It's to the spool. You can it? set, yeah. On. He's on. I'll manage your line. Dude, to the spool, we yeah. had just checked them. It feels pretty heavy. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be a 50. He's just coming. I think That's he fought himself. To the spool. To the spool. to the spool. I was just asking, I hope your, your knots are good. Knots are good. <laughs> like, it's not spinning. You're, you're going to get close soon. He, probably when the leader hits the hole, he's going to freak out a little bit. Yeah, that's when I'll stop moving him. I just don't want to give him any Loose tension. Oh, yeah, if he turns direction and starts doing. No, stay over here, stay over here, stay over here. There's the leader. Yeah, it's a big one, it's a big one. It's a giant. 
Let him go. Let him go. Yeah, let him go. Yeah, it's a 50 oh for, for 50. Oh for sure. my god. Try to slow him if you can. Yeah. You're doing good. Try to kneel down if you can. Keep you in the frame. Okay, okay, go slow, go slow. Go slow. It's okay. He's hooked really good. There's a hook right there. Yes. I got him. Yes. Oh yeah. Look at Dude. that belly, baby, PB! It's a giant. Oh my god, man. It's a giant. Let me Dude. get you the pliers. It's a giant. Let me pop that one out there yeah. for you. I stuck my hand right I into saw a hook. That, man. Oh wow, bro. Wow. Oh, yeah. That is a gigantic fish. Nice. Yes, boys. Come on, 50 club. Oh, oh it's a 50. man. Come on. Oh no, 48. 48, 48 incher. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What a giant, dude. 48 yeah. incher, but so fat. so fat. What a oh, tank. Wow. Definitely my ice PB. Yeah. 100%. Okay, so you can spin her, get her. Get her back in the water. Yeah. Let's go head first. She's already kicking. Look at that belly. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh yeah, she's stepping it up. It's probably a 40 pounder, dude. Oh yeah, that was fat. I wish I had my tape. There Big kick! Does. Woo! Oh, That's yeah. oh, so boy. sick! Let's oh, go. Yeah. What a giant! Oh man. Perfect. Day's not like done! Let's go! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Your finger's bleeding. Your Watch fingers are face. bleeding too. Oh yeah, I'm bleeding. <laughs> Let's go, boys! Dude! Oh, man, thanks, buddy. We got a little bit of blood, but it's worth it. That's, That's all my blood. It's yours? Oh, man, it's a frozen. So ah. sick. Dude, that was the fattest uh, muscle I've ever had in my hands, man. 40 pounder. Oh. <laughs> blood Brothers! I got him. Yes! We are dripping! I took a hook point to the finger when I first reached for him. But that is worth it. That is a giant fish. Man, it's got to be a 40 pounder. We are back in the Eskimo 650 XD. Getting warm. We got the hog heater on. It is pretty chilly out there today. And let me tell you, in here, we only got one panel going. And it is super toasty. We're back after that big fish of Steve's. Jigging again. Got a big slugger down there. With the big pans from again today. We called the fish in with that yesterday. And we're just waiting for more flags to pop. That was the second flag of the day. Only one flag yesterday. Saw that fish on live scope yesterday. It was 2.42 now, so we still got about two hours. And we're hoping maybe we can get one more big muskie to show up. We're gonna try to get Dan on one, and then we'll do the trifecta today. We will all have gotten one. But it's gonna be hard to top that big one of Steve's. We were just talking about that. We were like, what would you rather more? A PB in length? So like 52, 53 inch for Steve but like 20 inch girth? Or would you rather like a 48 or 49 incher, but like a 26, 27, 28 inch girth? And Steve was like, yeah, I think I definitely want the fatter fish. And then maybe an hour went by and flag pop spooled it. And it was a super fatty, around 25, 26 inch girth. So we estimate that fish around 40 pounds for 48 inches long. So between 38 and 41 pounds, definitely a giant. Steve's pretty stoked. Completely spooled, set that hook and it was just it's a, a big log. one, boys. It was like a log. a big one, boys. It felt like a heavy log just pulling back and completely brought back all the line, respooled it, took off, came back, and it was a giant man, PB baby. Grabbed him. so nice. 
Cut my hand up. Steve's yeah. all wrapped up. Cut our hands. It was well, well worth it. But we're gonna get back to jigging. Watching live scope. We got a live scope can rolling today, so if we do end up seeing a fish, you guys will see it too. But nothing so far. Dan did get a couple perch, but we didn't take any video of those. They were like four <laughs> four inches. <laughs> we're out here fishing muskies. See you guys in a little bit. Another flag. It's been an hour. Same area. Hot side. Yeah. Like Steve's big fish, this fish right now, fish this morning was over there, and yesterday's fish was right here. So all on the current edge. Just get some line. Just make sure our hole's nice and wide in case it's another fatty. We'll just wait until he starts going away, taking yep. line again. Yep. When he starts taking line again, then we'll hit him. Right now, I think he's placing it because you can just feel him kind of like moving the bait a little bit at a time. Okay. You don't want to set the hook when he's stopped because he might be facing you and you could pull it out. Yeah. And you don't want to set the hook when he's coming at you. So either he's going to stop and change directions or he might come right under the hole and when he starts going that way, then we'll, we'll set the hook. Okay, I say you could set it. Nice hook set. Yeah, it's a big sweep. Oh, yeah. And stay stay kneeling if you can. I'll control your line here. Let him go if he wants to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't see him there. But I don't think it's small. When we see the leader, I'll help pull his head and we'll try to keep him in the hole as much as possible until I grab him. Okay. Oh, it's a nice one. It's not a giant. Too bad. Oh, the hooks are on the outside. That was a perfect hook set. That hook was underneath, but this hook was absolutely perfect in the corner of the mouth. Dan, you can grab him if you want. Let's go, Dad. Oh, yeah. Yes, Let's sir. Go. The troisième. The troisième. Third fish of the day. Okay, now he can switch, put his head down the hole for a release. And then just hold the tail. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I really like to do is not so much pulling him back and forth, but just wiggling him yep. side to side. And with this amount of time out of the water, there's no freeze up. But if there were to be any gill freeze up. Oh yeah, baby. That'll get the ice out. Oh, Way yeah. to go, bud. Oh, thank you. Let's go, guys. I say we just pick that one up. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is gonna wrap it up. As you can see, it is dark outside. We waited until dark, trying to get another flag. I wanted another fish so badly. And we actually had a crazy bunch of high winds come in and snow, and I think we're in for a big snowstorm tonight. So it was a chore packing up the tent and walking off the ice, but we made it back. I'm just letting the truck heat up. Steve and Jan just left, but thank you guys so much for checking out the first muskie hunt of the season on the ice. It was an absolutely great two days. I'm about to start my clients now. Like I said, it's the last year for muskie in this zone for the winter. So I have a bunch of clients to clear. I'm gonna be down in Quinty soon. There's lots of content coming to the channels and I appreciate all you guys so much. We are finally past the 10,000 mark. So thanks again. And if you aren't subscribed, don't forget, go down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces. Yes. I got him. Yes. Oh, yeah. Look at Dude. that belly, baby, baby.